concept of tools and postulates onto different type of system. So today we are just going to start a first system that is free particle. So in this part, we will just cover first what is free particle, what is eigenvalue and the eigenvector of momentum for the free particle, what is eigenvalue of energy, and we will also try to make a concept of basically a uh, probability current density. So this thing is the main thing we have to just try to cover. Okay. So what is free particle? If we are talking about free particle, so if we are talking about free particle means the particle the particle has constant momentum constant momentum so what will be classical thing of for the free particle so if we are talking about classically about the free particle then rate of change of momentum dp upon dt is what is zero from where we can go for momentum of a particle is constant and let's say that constant value is p naught and if we want to calculate it and this is nothing but the newton's law of motion so we are just using newton's law of motion for classical system for classical system and you can easily write m dx upon dt is equal to p naught and based on initial condition we can easily write x is equal to p naught t upon m plus some constant c1 so this is my position versus time and every time my momentum is constant that is p naught what is beautiful part of this the beautiful part of this if i know what will my momentum after at time t so or what is my position at time t i can predict what will be my new position after time t so you can write what will be your x after time some more time t so you can easily calculate this particular value so let's say this value so let's say at t is equal to at t is equal to t my position of a particle is p not t upon m plus c1 and let's say this whole thing is x not isko main x not keh raha hu this whole thing is x not so if you know this particular thing you can also see what will be happen at time t is equal to 2t what will be happen at time t is equal to a next level of time and suppose we are doing this measurement again and again suppose we are repeating this measurement initial condition is exactly same what will happen at suppose we just want to know or we can just see the whole thing into different way and i and please help me i am just want to write the data of this particular position at time t is equal to t by the repeating this experiment again and again so can you tell me in first experiment what will be my position suppose i am doing this experiment again and again what will be my position at t is equal to t anyone no, no. Huh? x not x not again i am going to repeat this same experiment what will be my position at the same time t is equal to t x not x not x not x not suppose i am going to do this experiment 100 time what will be position at x is equal to x not isn't it everyone 
now can anybody sell can anybody tell that position at if initial condition are same everything is same i am not going to change the initial condition so everything is same can anybody tell that particle will be any another position except x not kya ye possible hai No, same same time t. Same time t पर, same time t t t t t बात कर रहा है बात कर रहे हैं डूइंग दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इन अ डिफरेंट वे एंड वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम जस्ट सेंडिंग द हंड्रेड ऑफ द सेम पार्टिकल विथ सेम इनिशियल कंडीशन Where will be all the hundred particle at t is equal to t? At x not. At x not. At x not. Very good. Now I am going to do this experiment again in a different way. Suppose there are hundred people and all hundred people are have a very efficient camera, and I just want to tell him that just click. the position of a particle at t is equal to t what you will get what you will get you will get one 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 spot at your negative isn't it yes sir har ek har ek jiske paas camera hai har ek logon ne jo photo khicha uska click kiya everybody will get the exactly one spot Isn't it? Yes. yes, sir. Yes. So suppose we have hundred people, and all hundred people will give me this sort of frame. As I did, Gana. And now, if I am going to merge all this frame, then how many spot I will get? One. One. Only. Only one spot. So what I will get that that spot is the most intense one. Isn't it? What is meaning of that? Meaning of that, classically, my particle is well localized. I can give hundred percent guarantee that my particle will be at x is equal to x not at time t is equal to t. Are you getting my point? सेम चीज को मैं कई कई तरीके से कह रहा हूं वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट माई पार्टिकल इज वेल लोकेलाइज दैट मीन्स वी हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रोबलिटी दैट पार्टिकल विल बी एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स नेट एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू टी मीन्स इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंटेंसिटी वर्सेस पोजिशन At time t is equal to t, how many point will be the most intense? Only one point. Only one point, and that point will be nothing but x not. And this point will be more more intense. And after next time, suppose I just want to see the picture at after time t is equal to t plus delta t, then what will happen to this point? then this point to have not intensity the next point will be highest intensity and that is most intense point isn't it yes sir just the me time change karunga to intensity kya ho jayega kisi aur point par milega aur us point par hame nahi milega is tarah ki cheeze so this is the thing so we have one very nice conclusion for the classical physics that our position or our particle is well localized in another way you can also say the state of a system state of a system state of a system is 
प्रिडिक्टेबल isn't it state of a system is predictable and one can measure position and momentum simultaneously simul testnally okay so this is all about a classical picture of your free particle every time you can say this is my precise value of momentum every time you can say this is my precise value of position now let's try to see what will happen quantum mechanically so how quantum mechanical state is evolving with the time उसको हम कैसे देखते हैं किस इक्वेशन के थ्रू वेव इक्वेशन वेव सोरेंजर वेव इक्वेशन है ना सो so, ऑब्वियसली और यहां पर जो काम कर रहा है वो कौन कर रहा है न्यूटन लॉ इज एंट इट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर अ नेक्स्ट वन दैट व्हाट विल हैपन टू द सोरेंजर वेव इक्वेशन look at this is very interesting so we have h psi is equal to or i can write h phi is equal to e phi yes this is your time independent sorringer wave equation so we can easily write time independent sorringer wave equation and you can use postulates 5 to write the evolution of a particle है ना एक बार स्टेशनरी स्टेट निकाल लें तो हम इजिली टाइम एवोल्यूशन के बारे में बात कर सकते हैं इज एंट इट सो एच फाइव इज इक्वल टू ई फाइव एंड व्हाट इज योर एच एच इज नथिंग बट ओनली काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ अ सिस्टम बिकॉज फॉर द फ्री पार्टिकल देयर इज नॉट एनी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी तो एच इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड वॉट इज योर काइनेटिक एनर्जी द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट पी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम we are talking about one dimensional system so this is px square upon 2m and which is quantum mechanically this can be written by the operator that is minus h cut square upon 2m and this value is nothing but what del square so what will happen minus h cut square upon 2m del square phi is equal to e phi and for the one dimensional this del square can be written as minus h cut square upon 2m del square phi upon del x square is equal to e phi and for one dimensional del can be easily written as total derivative because there is only one variable so what we can do we can write minus h cut square upon 2m d square phi upon dx square is equal to e phi and the whole equation can be written as d square phi upon dx square plus 2me h cut square phi must be equal to 0 everyone is comfortable up to this hain na now we have d square phi dx square and i can put this value as kx square phi must be equal to 0 so what should be the solution of this differential equation pata hai aapko kya kya it solution ho sakta hai it will be hmm. i kx or it will be minus i kx okay एक सॉल्यूशन हो सकता है लेट से ई टू दी पावर आई के एक्स ई टू दी पावर माइनस आई के एक्स ये भी हो सकता है क्या साइन के एक्स नहीं हो सकता क्या सकता देखो तो पुट करके यस सर देखो तो पुट 
साइन की एक्स एक्स कर सकता है ना क्या कॉस की एक्स एक्स नहीं हो सकता क्या मैथमेटिकली इज दैट पॉसिबल दैट वी कैन हैव कॉस की एक्स एस ऑल्सो सोल्यूशन हो सकता कि नहीं सो मैथमेटिकली ऑल फोर आर सोल्यूशन बट थिंग इज दैट रिमेंबर दिस लिसन दिस थिंग वेरी केयरफुली द हेमिल्टोनियन इज गोइंग टू कम्यूट विद द मोमेंटम फॉर द फ्री पार्टिकल लुक एट हियर द हेमिल्टोनियन इज नथिंग बट पी एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम एंड पी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज एंड इट पी एक्स इज गोइंग टू कम्यूट विद पी एक्स ये सब कर चुके हैं ना so if these two are going to commute each other then eigen state of hamiltonian should be also eigen state of momentum or not eigen state of momentum at least they can be written in a basis of eigen state of momentum isn't it are you getting my point yes sir fast statements in physics yeah, what i am saying that eigen state of hamiltonian and eigen state of momentum either they should be they can be same thing or one should write eigen state of hamiltonian in a basis of eigen state of momentum are you getting my point or not hai na now just check is that this one is the eigen state of momentum yes sir आइगन स्टेट ऑफ मोमेंटम है कैसे चेक करोगे जस्ट यू कैन यूज मोमेंटम सो पी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस आई एच कट डेल ई टी डेल अपॉन डेल एक्स ई टू दावर आई के एक्स एक्स की वैल्यू जरा बताओ तो क्या आएगा जस्ट डू इट एंड जस्ट टेल मी वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वेरी गुड सो यू विल गेट एच कट के एक्स ई टू दावर आई के एक्स एक्स सो वॉट यू हैव यू हैव पी एक्स ई टू दावर आई के एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू एच कट के एक्स ई टू दावर आई के एक्स एक्स है ना यस या नो ये सर Similarly, पी एक्स ई टू दावर माइनस आई के एक्स एक्स की वैल्यू क्या होगा जरा बताओ तो एनी वन माइनस एच कट के एक्स इतनी पर माइनस आई के वेरी गुड माइनस एच कट के एक्स माइनस एच कट के एक्स ई टू दावर माइनस आई के एक्स एक्स Isn't it? Just check it. Just check it. P x के जगह पर क्या लिख रहे हो? Minus i h का del upon del x. So now you can see this is eigen state of momentum. This is also eigen state of momentum. Is that this one is eigen state of momentum? No sir. No. Why? It will operate P x sine k x x. What you will get? you will get minus i h cut and if you have this sin del upon del x and you have sin k x x what you will get minus i h cut k ha so you will get minus i h cut k cos k x isn't it and that is not the same function so that is not same function 
So obviously, sin kxx is not an eigenstate of momentum. Similarly, cos kxx is also not an eigenstate of momentum. Everyone is comfortable? Now, what is your total energy of a system? Abjara, what is total energy? Kya hai? Just tell me. What is your total energy of a system? Only kinetic energy? And what is your kinetic energy? This is nothing but Px square upon 2m. And what is the eigenvalue of the momentum? H cross H K. K. H K. Or minus and minus H cut K is also eigen state eigenvalue of momentum. Isn't it? If you put Px is equal to H cut Kx, then what is value of E? H cut square Kx square by 2m. Very good. H cut square Kx square upon 2m. And similarly, if you put Px is equal to minus H cut Kx, what will be value of energy? Same, sir. Same you will get exactly same value of energy that is nothing h cut square kx square upon 2m so what is conclusion what is conclusion it has the same eigenvalue sorry degenerate degenerate eigenvalue very good very good now look at here what is going to happen so suppose i have free particle Suppose I have free particle and this free particle can either go, if it is moving in a one dimension, so it can go either from left to right or right to left. If it is going from left to right, what will be its momentum? H cut Kx. And if it is going right to left, what will be its momentum? minus h cut kx but the energy related to both the particle or both the state either going into plus momentum state or minus momentum state is what h cut square kx square upon 2m and what will be eigenstate corresponds to this this one e to the power i k x e to the power i k x x like that there and what will be eigenstate correspond to this one e to the power minus i k x x minus i k x x now you can see for the given value of moment for the given value of energy we can have two momentum state for the free particle one can go from left to right and another can go from what right to left and so why one dimensional one dimensional pre particle is doubly degenerate doubly degenerate for <coughs> doubly degenerate for energy eigen value so you have two eigen state which have that same energy eigen value so momentum is degenerate or energy is de is is degenerate energy, so energy is degenerate energy is degenerate but momentum is what non-degenerate you can easily see that this h cut kx is associated to this one this minus h cut kx is associated to this one and both have same amount of energy that is h cut square kx square upon 2m yahan tak clear hai har ek logo ko now the main thing is let's try to 
अंडरस्टैंड हियर यहां तक क्लियर है ना यस ओके नाउ आई कैन यूज नोटेशन पाई प्लस एज ई टू दावर आई के एक्स पाई माइनस एज ई टू दावर माइनस के एक्स एक्स ओके नाउ जस्ट टेल मी एच विल ऑपरेट ऑन फाइव प्लस वॉट यू विल गेट बताओ अब जरा नोटेशन के टर्म में लिख के बताओ क्या होगा एच इज हेमल्टोनियन एच इज हेमल्टोनियन हाँ क्या होगा एच का स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर बाई टू एम फाइव प्लस वेरी गुड एच कट स्क्वायर के एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू एम फाइव प्लस ओके Now, h will operate on phi minus. What you will get? H cut square k x square by two m phi minus. Very good. H cut square k x square by two m phi minus. Now, p x will operate on phi plus. Sorry, h cut k e to the power phi plus. H cut k x phi phi plus. Plus, very good. P X will operate on phi minus minus H cut K phi minus minus H cut K X phi minus. Okay, and now you can have this sort of information with yourself. Okay, now what is postulates one? Any state can be created with the superposition of different state. कहता है ना postulates one. Yes. So what we are going to do? I am just making a very simple state at t is equal to zero. And let's say that state is phi plus plus phi minus. बना सकते हैं superposition of two states से. यस या नो यस सर वेरी गुड बना सकते हैं वेरी गुड नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन एट टी इज इक्वल टू टी टाइम पार्ट विल कम हम्म टाइम पार्ट व्हाट विल हैपन एट टी इज इक्वल टू टी पॉसिलेट्स फाइव में जाओगे टाइम एवोल्यूशन टाइम इवोल्यूशन सो क्या होगा जरा बताओ साई टी क्या हो जाएगा फाइव प्लस और इसके साथ कितनी एनर्जी एसोसिएट है सो ई टू दावर माइनस आई इसको ई प्लस कर देते हैं वेरी गुड माइनस आई एच कट स्क्वायर के एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम बाई एच कट है ना इन टू टी सही लिखा है yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. दूसरे वाले के साथ बताओ क्या आएगा ई टू दावर माइनस आई एच कट स्क्वायर के एक्स स्क्वायर टी अपॉन एच कट इन टू टू एम क्लियर है ये सही यस या नो यस सर यस सो आई कैन टेक साई टी एज ई टू दावर माइनस आई एक एच कट कैंसिल हो जाएगा एच कट के एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम टी इंटू फाइव प्लस प्लस फाइव माइनस लिख सकते हैं ना यस सर यस Now, what will be phi plus? And I can write also what is phi plus and phi minus. Phi zero. So you can write e to the power minus i h cut k x square t upon two m. What is phi plus? E to the power i k x x. 
what is 5 minus e to the power minus i k x x can i write this thing as a cos function yes sir likh sakte hai na yes sir yes sir by just so this will be two time cos k x x e to the power minus i h cut k x square upon 2 m into t likh sakte hain this is your psi t yes ya no yes sir now what will be mod psi t square Four into square kx. Hmm. So, if we want to go for the probability density, and probability density is nothing but mod psi square at the time t, and that value is nothing but four cos square kx x. And this is at time t is equal to t, isn't it? This is a time t is equal to t. Can I plot it? मैं इसे plot कर सकता हूँ ना? So which type of plot is there? कैसा plot होगा? बताइए कॉस स्क्वायर का प्लॉट होगा सो यू कैन हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ प्लॉट इज इंट इट एंड व्हाट इज दिस प्रोलिटी डेंसिटी दिस इज नथिंग बट द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल इज इंट इट Yes sir. Yes sir. Now what is meaning of this? ये क्या मिल रहा है हमें? You can see at same time there are finite probability to that your particle can find at here. You have finite probability that your particle can find at here. Obviously minus infinity to plus infinity is a very ideal situation. So why it is not normalized? But if you are going to confine it within a region. Then obviously we can normalize it, and let us just choose into this reason. अगर मैं या फिर यही reason को मैं choose करता हूँ, then what is going to happen? Suppose यहाँ से यहाँ के reason को देखते हैं, then what is going to happen? Look at something like this, isn't it? And at the same time, your particle can be at this point also. At the same time, your particle can be this point also. Because this is nothing but the probability density at at which time t is equal to t. So what is going to happen? Kya ho ra actually? Now let us go for the quantum mechanical particle, and I am just giving you a camera, and you have to just click the picture of that. This is just a hypothetical story that you have to just click the camera. Sorry, click the particle at same t is equal to t. Suppose there are hundred observer are there. The first observer will see here. Where will be the second observer will see? So one observer will see only one particle or more than one particle. One particle. One particle. Only one particle. Only one particle because particle is only. Okay. Another observer will also see this one. The third one is also see. One, anyone. But if I am going to superimpose this thing, then I will get one spot or more than one spot. One spot. More than one, one. Spot. More than one spot into quantity. Look at here. Is that one spot? No, sir. No. no. You have more than one spot. 
so at the same time your particle can be here at the same time your you can your particle can be here at the same time your particle can be here at the same time your particle can be here it is different thing that at at this point the the probability to getting the particle is more and more but what is going to happen at the same time a particle is find anywhere between the space between minus infinity to plus infinity so the concept of localization of a particle or localization of a state is invalidate into this quantum mechanical system sir and what is the meaning that uh, probability is uh, zero in some region probability there density. is not any particle there is there is not any part there is you cannot find particle at that particular particular position <coughs> you cannot find that thing yes sir it is also possible that i cannot find it is yes. it is it is also possible it is also possible look at here yes sir yes yes and you have seen this type of phenomena in a wave interference pattern do you remember that thing yes sir yes yes you have a dark fringe in the in the young in the young double slit experiment what you have seen dark bright dark bright dark bright isn't it yes sir and you have same experiment with the electron this is the free particle suppose free electrons are there and you have this and if you are going to repeat this experiment again and again what is going to happen you can see this is your this type of situation is there and you have intensity pattern interference pattern kind of thing and how you this type of interference pattern can be met with a superposition of two different state you have one state with momentum positive you have another state with momentum negative in spite of that both have same energy they can interfere i am not saying particle is going to interfere the same particle have different state are you getting my point here in a one dimensional system the same particle can have positive momentum state the same particle can have negative momentum state and they can interfere and once they can interfere they can give you this sort of interference pattern so what is the conclusion the conclusion is that that in quantum mechanics the concept of the concept of localization concept of localization of particle is not valid if i am talking about particle i am actually talking about the state of a system and quantum mechanical state quantum mechanical state is extended wave between minus infinity to plus infinity you have extended wave expression isn't it you have two wave e to the power i k x this is exactly wave hai na e to the power i k x and e to the power minus i x and you can have superimposition and look at the time part this time part is nothing but omega had something dimension of omega you can easily check it isn't it yes sir so this is a mind blowing idea for quantum mechanical pre particle system ab dekh rahe ho that if i am talking about free particle system and obviously we have represented with the extended wave and we can have a different probability to find a particle in the different region at the same point of time so this is one of the mind blowing idea of the 
फ्री पार्टिकल सो क्लासिकली वॉट इज फ्री पार्टिकल और क्लासिकली यू हैव एक्सटेंड यू हैव लोकलाइज पार्टिकल आइदर इट इज फ्री और नॉट फ्री दैट इज डिफरेंट इशू बट क्वांटम मैकेनिकली यू कैन सी दैट लोकलाइजेशन इज नॉट वैलिड हियर एट द सेम टाइम योर पार्टिकल कैन बी एनी वेयर बिटवीन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी एंड लॉ यू कैन सी एवरीथिंग कैन बी डिस्कस विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैथमेटिकल नोटेशन एंड द मैथमेटिकल टूल्स इज एंट इट yes sir so i want to have one clarification sir hmm batao uh, sir this graph is between psi x and x this graph this one yes sir yes sir this graph is between mod psi square x versus x okay sir and this graph is at time t equals to t exactly at same point of time and only we are saying that it is possible that at same time the particle yes. can be at different yes. position yes exactly 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 yeah. okay sir any more question so then this uh, means it is being proved earlier classes you have told an experiment and this is the proof of that experiment listen this is a very ideal situation okay, okay sir. why it is ideal situation first of all we are not confining the particle within the region okay so it is very difficult to tell that your particle will be from minus infinity to plus infinity so the actual thing will come into picture which is the absolutely more physical thing when we confine the particle because how you can free part keep particle free between one minus infinity to plus infinity if you are doing this experiment into your lab also then your lab is also confined isn't it yes the screen is confined ha huh? yes yes sir and na so not i am not talking about the screen is confined your particle is itself confined na no? yes sir yes sir but even if you can consider that your particle is confined within a region you cannot say your particle is localized there isn't it yes sir you cannot say that particle your particle is localized rather suppose i am just taking this much or suppose my particle is confined between here to here then you can also see that there are different probability of a particle at the different point at the same yes. time isn't yes, it sir. yes sir yes the actual conclusion will come when we will go for particle in infinite box okay okay sir okay but but at least today we can make a conclusion that quantum mechanically the particle cannot be localized we cannot predict the particle what will be where will it it will be after time t isn't it as we can predict into the newton's law as yes, well as we cannot also predict the path of the particle that how particle will go from here to here if there is the probability zero look at this thing agar particle ki probability zero hai is point par then how your particle will go from here to here yes sir so this is only two person can know how the your particle can go from here to here either particle or god nobody other no other person can know what we can do we can only analyze the final result we can only say at this point of time at this position there is zero probability to find the particle rather at this point there is maximum probability at this reason there are different probability in this reason there are different probability isn't it only we can tell this one but how it is going to happen nobody knows everyone is comfortable yes sir okay so i will stop here tomorrow we will go for a next 
uh, analysis mainly we will just first uh, go for a uh, probability current density and then we will go for step potential okay these all are concept of free particles okay <clears throat> chalo thank you thank you thank sir you, thank you sir thank you sir